Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to the Westport Independent, a game about censoring and newspapers and loyalists and rebels, and generally trying to maintain the freedom of the press when literally everyone is trying to kill you. Last time, well, we made it to about kind of six weeks into the 12-week period before some new terrifying government legislation is going to come in and basically shut us down as far as I can tell. Sounds like is what's going to happen next. And sadly one of our journalists was a little bit too controversial and he's been sent off to a re-education camp. So I hope he's having a really lovely time there but to be honest he probably isn't. So now we need to try and figure out what we're going to do next. Do we support the rebels or do we support the government? Let's have a look see what the stories are that we've got today to work with. Police officer charged with misconduct. Okay, that's anti-government, We, but not too badly. So we're just going to give that over there. So police officer charged with misconduct, trial of local law or officer, found guilty of gross misconduct and endangering innocent lives. He was charged for refusing to follow orders to execute an arrested rebel bomber. <sighs> she was only 15 years old. Ooh, um, arrested rebel bomber. She was only 15. Yeah, let's leave that in because that's nice and sympathetic. Or police officer given life for refusing to kill teenage girl. Phil, are you willing to write that by any chance? Darn it. Uh, no, you're writing it. All right, get on it. Just get the hell on it, all right? That's what you're doing, Phil. You're writing that today. Although I'm guessing that means he's going to be... I don't know what the consequence of that is. We'll see what happens as a result of that. Value of the Libra keeps on declining. Beautiful. <laughs> New health study shows the benefits of tobacco. Who funded this survey? Value of the Libra keeps declining. Oh, we, we, we apparently use the currency of the Libra. Fine. National currency Libra keeps on decreasing in value. Last year, government tried to solve the crisis by printing more money to cover expenses. So far, the government's actions have only added to inflation. That is probably all factually true. Inflation sweeps the country, making Libra close to worthless. <laughs> um, Anne, you're willing to write this? No, you're doing it. Get on it. Okay, now we need to give a nice puff piece to Julie. Movie star. We're just doing a movie star puff piece. Uh, movie star parties with violent gang. Yeah, that's a good dramatic headline, isn't it? So last night, movie star Harold... Oh, not Harold Finner. Bloody gang. Bloody hell. So the club has been suspected of being affiliated with the vile rags. While it's uncertain what he did, he drunkenly left in the cabin around 5am. Yeah, that's not in any way anti-government. Julie, get on it. Now proceed to the layout. And we are going to be a yeah, police officer given life for refusing to kill teenage girl. Perfect. Inflation is sweeping the country. Terrible news. Movie star something something. Yeah, party with violent gang. I don't even care. So now we need to figure out is the West. The West cares about crime and celebrity. The East cares about society and industry. Crime and society. So really I want to focus on crime stories. If I want to get the West interested in what's going on, I need to get the, the crime and celebrity. We've got crime and celebrity today. Let's put... Oh, modern media for modern metropolitans. It's the bloody Guardian. Lovely. Uh, no, no, no. We don't need to worry about that. But let's put a load of stuff into... Actually, we need to get the, the East on side. The south, I think the South is already reading us. So let's just get the... Yeah, that in there. And then hard-boiled stories every day. That's lovely. Let's just get some marketing spend over in the West. Hardboard stories every day at the Westport Independent. Beautiful. Uh, so, yeah. Celebrity and crime, we can get the Western people on side. Publish this newspaper. Five weeks left until the public culture bill is coming into force, and it feels like things might be escalating a little bit. So, so... Oh, we... Oh, look at that. We sold a load... Oh, my goodness. We've sold a load of papers in the East and in the South. We might need to advertise a bit more. So, the South is now... We don't even need to worry about the South anymore. If we're supporting the rebels... And I think we should. Then the South is like now totally rebelly. So we completely ignore the South at this point. We just need to get kind of like... Yeah, if we can just get some crime going on on the front page. Then we can get the West involved. Which is good. Even the North is kind of coming around, which is nice. Last week's sale. So, yeah, we're selling really, really well. And, oh, The paper's popularity's jumped, but so is the suspicion. Plus 15 points to rebel. I'm guessing... That the government is not going to be happy with that. Uh oh. Hello, go. Oh no, I'm just going to. Is anyone still? Everyone's here. Good. Everyone's here. Hello, government. What have you got to say? Most hostile editor. We noted last week you posted an article about the value of our currency. Such disloyal messages only serve to cause unnecessary panic and confusion amongst the public. This event will reflect badly on your record with us. This behaviour is not stopped. There will be consequences. I just reported that inflation existed. Can't. can't it's not my fault. Right. 
Trust in numbers, not in government. In a world where information is controlled by those in power, trust should be put in the people, not the authorities. Okay, fine. I'm not liking the government. The government is, but we're, we need to be really careful of that loyalist suspicion. But we're okay for the minute. We're okay for the minute, but... I think Julie's suspicion has dropped slightly, so she can probably... Ru Ooh, Anne. Anne is now under suspicion. And Anne's going to refuse to do some things for me. That's going to cause problems. Anne's going to... Yeah, because she's... Yeah, she's married. She has children. Anne's going to be... She's going to refuse to do a lot of stuff for me. Right, now, we did a nice big crime story for the front page so we can get the west of the city on our side too. Uh, fire and apartment complex. Uh, is that arson? Is it going to be arson or is there any arson? People left homeless after fire. Fire and apartment complex. People left homeless after fire. This could be a good one for Phil actually if we can just turn this a little bit anti-government. So a fire erupted last night in an apartment complex between the Southern Dogs and the Western Districts. During the blaze, uh, two hours took to extinguish the fire. 42 apartments were damaged to the point of being uninhabitable. Survivors have had to move in with friends and family to the city yet to provide aid. Phil, are you willing to write this? You going for Yeah, Phil's willing to go for it. Beautiful. Well done, Phil. We might put that on the front page. It doesn't. We actually haven't got a big, good... Ah, uh, Barbara. That's, that's crime, isn't it? That's good, nice crime. So last night, a fight broke out in the bar in the Western District involving six people who, according to testimony, were all heavily intoxicated. Knives and broken bottle used, some injuries. Fight soon stopped after police arrived to arrest the offenders. What's the alternative take on that, then? Dangerous drunken brawl leaves several people injured. Oh, that's good. It's a good dramatic crime story. And we can put it on the front page. It'll be a good crime story. That's lovely. Right, yeah. That goes over to Anne. Anne's willing to write that. Beautiful. Now, Julie... We need something nice and subtly anti-government for you, okay? We could put some celebrity news in, because some celebrity news... Yeah, it's crime and celebrity that the Western District likes, isn't it? So if we just put a movie star in a minor car accident in here, that could work really, really nicely. We've got any other big news that we actually want to uh, read, by the way. Why is the government giving a park to the Southern Docks? New park, next year's sports festival. Government will make room for the park by demolishing nearby apartment complexes. Bloody hell, that's 500 people's homes lost. Okay, I can't give that to Julie. It's too controversial. Sorry. Julie has to write a puff piece because renovation of the old library, what else is going on? The Loyalist State Library. Selection of books will be handpicked by government officials. Improper books that don't follow the government. Oh, blimey. Yeah, the repurposing of a local public library into a government-controlled state library is finished. Let's just leave that there. No, 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 it's fine. That's a nice dramatic headline, but can I actually... Is it too late for me to pull this off yet? Because uh, I quite like to do that. Uh, no, we need some. We need. Do we do need some crime? We do need some crime. Let's not be too controversial today. Let's just have that movie star in a minor car accident. That's uh, bloody Harold Finn again. Bloody Harold Finn. He's in the paper every bloody day. Um, so he crashed into a streetlight. Accident. Some dents to the front of the car. Streetlight was knocked down. Mr. Finn was. No, let's leave that out. Let's just leave it dramatic. So, movie star crashes car, leaves without a scratch. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. Let's just have that nice full story there. And Julie, you can write that. I know you don't like writing the puff pieces, but the government is kind of watching you right now. So just be a little careful, all right? Uh, so, the dangerous drunken brawl. Yes, dangerous drunken brawl. Oh, that's a really minor crappy story, apparently. That's a shame. Uh, oh, all right, can we put the homeless. Oh, that's a crime as well, apparently. Good, lovely. Dangerous drunken brawl. And movie star. Nice bit of celebrity. Beautiful. No industrial news today. But that's that's a shame. But that's okay. So these guys love that. The eastern people. Oh, the eastern people are never going to read the paper today. The south and the west will read it, though. Let's put a bunch of spend into the south. Bunch of spend into the west. Uh, 50... 35, yeah. Uh, we're probably going to struggle to sell some copies in the East, but the East are pretty much on hand at this point. I want to get the Western Districts on side. Publish that their paper. Week 8. Four weeks to go. Let's figure out what just happened overnight. How badly did everything go? And we sold a load of papers in the West and a load of papers in the South. I uh, don't think we did much to move the opinion, however. So, okay, so that's fine. Uh, loyalist suspicion of me has jumped like crazy and I haven't sold any extra papers though the uh, yeah the uh, the rebels are swinging into popularity which could be useful if the rebels are not going to shut down my paper uh, uh oh oh no 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 oh I've got so <laughs> I've got so many letters from from the government 
What did I do? Recently come to our attention that your paper, The West Britain Dependent, seems to have problems understanding the guidelines provided by the Loyalist government. We assure you these guidelines are absolute. If your paper continues to neglect them, countermeasures will be taken. Oh dear. Right. Uh, and then another official letter. One of your employees. Oh no, no, Anne. Anne, 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 Anne. Uh oh, we need to be, okay, we need to be careful with Anne. Anne, you're, you're even pro-government. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is, this is all my fault. This is all my fault, Anne. Most respected editor. I'm contacting you as the agent of renowned movie star Harold Finn. Read one of your articles last week. I noticed an error. Mr. Finn did not leave the crash site in question without a scratch. He is not a superhuman. Claiming him to be would be outrageous. In fact, he received a bruise in his left knee. Mind affects his ability to work. I assure you it hurts quite a bit. Thank you for your time. <laughs> I like that Harold Finn's agent decided to write to me. We will publish a correction, I promise. So I've got to be really careful with Anne. Now, could I get Phil to write something about the Rebels hijacking a radio show that's a bit sympathetic? Rebels hijack radio show. Rebels expose radio show lies. Let's just leave it as positive. So, a local news radio program was interrupted by local Rebels. Unknown voice took control of the airwaves about 10 minutes before getting shut down. He called the host liars. The voice was trying to correct several facts about the reported rebel activity. The station has been shut down until further notice. As I've not sensed anything, Phil, are you willing to write this? Look, just write it all right you have to be the one uh i suspect someone he might quit at some point so uh revival industries lays off 400 employees rebels influence west rebels influence westport papers whoa 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 police start an investigation into rebel influences within westport's media large number of suspected rebel letters being found at the now vacated northern herald signed a friendly rebel name yeah but i get those too it's not my fault that's not my bloody fault all right the bin with that in the bin with that story. Taxes to be lowered thanks to government efforts. New proposal by the Loyalist government will lower the taxes for high income earners. Decrease will affect the economic support of public schools and hospitals. Loyalist government believes in rewarding hard work. However, the current taxation does the opposite. Government cuts economic support for public schools and hospitals to make the rich richer. Yay. Let's just get rid of that nice quote. Bit dangerous. Uh, and we're just going to give you a bit of puff piece, I think. We can give you some an industrial story, I think. Uh, faulty construction, pirate radio station. Chance, is it Harold Finn? I think we can do without that, thank you. And faulty construction should be the cause of recent fire. So that recent... Oh, this is the apartment fire from the other day. So, construction company responsible for life-threatening fire. Ooh, that, that's nice and controversial. Um, investigation into recent apartment fire and electrical short circuit. Spread of the fire is believed to be because of highly flammable and loosely packed insulation. Both the oversights occurred during the construction carried out by Westport contractors. Yeah, all right. That's nice and... It's nice and controversial, but it's not actually a problem, is it? Proceed to the layout. And we're going to say the government has cut the economic support by public schools. Rebels are hacking the radio show. A nice construction company. There we are. Society and industrial back in the paper. Beautiful. This should get to the east to be buying our lovely paper. And the west. Uh, the west probably won't buy the paper today. Let's just get loads of people to be buying the paper in the East. And we can actually, you know what, let's just put a little bit, let's, let's do it 50-50. 50-50, and we have the societal news today. Let's go. The government's probably not going to be happy about that. I did potentially just put a very controversial piece up there. We've maxed out the papers here, but I'm guessing we're going to have some... Oh, uh-oh. 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 The loyalists are too suspicious of me. Slightly worried by this letter. I'm really, okay, I'm not quite maxed, but I'm really close. Most uncooperative editor, seems that your paper, The Westport Independent, has continued to take a stand against the guidelines put in place in preparations for the public culture bill. Continued disobedience will be punished. Punishment will also be dealt to any specific individuals involved, whether they're employees of the paper or not. I think that's a threat against my family there. Please reconsider what's in your best interest. Everyone's still here. Um, oh, Phil's now under suspicion. But I, he hasn't quit, even though I've forced him to write two articles. Julie's suspicious. Anne's not so suspicious. Maybe, just for today, we ought to do a nice, happy, pro-government policy. So, new law to combat illegal workers. That's nice and controversial, but doesn't need to be anti-government at all. So, new law to combat illegal workers or government revokes employment for people born outside of Westport. No, just listen. The, the, the nice pro-government headline... 
Parliament passed a new law to combat the rise of illegal immigration. Uh, it will require all workers uh, to supply a Westport social security number before being hired, and employers will also be charged for employing refugees or citizens lacking citizenship. Let's just quietly get rid of that. Nice, nice pro article here. Phil, this is... Why can't you write that? That's... I don't know why he can't write that. That's like totally, totally in line with what he wants. Julie, you can write that. Yeah, Julie can write that. Fine. So, Westport State Prisons to accept more. Customs fight back against contraband. Okay, huge number of imported movies were seized by custom officials last night. Movies in question were all foreign productions that have never made it into Westport's movie market. Many of the movies are labelled as subversive propaganda by the government. Smuggling is smuggling. These items are illegal for a reason. Just get rid of the negative mention. And government stops imported movies. Governments fight back against the contraband. Yeah, that seems fine. Phil, are you willing to write that? Yep, Phil's willing to write that. That's all fine. It's all fine. We're going to be lovely. And oh dear. The new the, the new plan that's going to shut down my bloody paper. In a press event today, uh, the chairman, uh, Andrew Lakin, addressed his recent appointment. Proud of his nomination, Lakin discussed his plans for more responsible press. This came out while addressing the accusations of corruption during his past career as a minister. Stand like that exactly why this is needed. Let's just quietly edit that out. Beautiful. A minister against culture truck. Minister against culture. Lovely. Tries to whitewash his past. No, we don't dare. We need to... We need to get pro-government for a second. And that's a safe thing for you to write. I know we're writing a bit of a stooge paper today. But we just... We need to... So that's a nice crime in society piece. Customs fight back against contraband. And a nice industrial society piece. And then the new paper. Beautiful. Right, on to that. Today we may as well focus on just selling a load of papers, really. Just to sell a load of papers. Uh, have we got anything good for the West in here? Not really, to be honest. We don't have much for the West at all. We'll put like 10% of marketing behind that. Other than that, we'll just focus on getting the South to hand. Publish. The government's got to be happy with us. They've got to be happy with us now. We've done everything they wanted. I mean, right now, I think I just need to survive. Because I'm feeling like the rebels might be going to make a move soon. Oh, look at that. We've sold so many papers. We've sold so many papers. But the opinion in the West just isn't shifting. It's still pretty pro-government. Okay. Popularity has dropped a tiny bit. Suspicion of me has dropped a tiny bit. Loyalist is... Oh, we're moving back towards the loyalist. No, we've got mail. Okay, this better be nice. I've been so nice to you. Most disloyal editor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, it's not. No, it's not. I was not... If you're going to be if you're gonna be this mean to me, then I don't know why I should even bother supporting you. All right, fine. We'll just do a bloody... Actually, that's a good point. We will just do a massive pro-government week and we'll exclusively market it at the North and the West, with lots of celebrity and lots of crime, and uh, or celebrity and industry for the North. That would be worth doing. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll just do that. Yeah, go, go away, stupid letter. Ah, movie star divorces eighth wife. That's a good celebrity story. So movie star ruins another marriage, divorcing his eighth wife. Beautiful. So Harold Finn has again divorced. Last for two years, making it the start's longest lasting relationship. So far, divorce proceedings have cost around three million libras. Beautiful. Um, who wants that piece? And that can go to Julie. You can have the puff piece because you're slightly under suspicion at the moment. We need a nice crime story. Crazed gunman murders family of four. Perfect. Uh, tragedy struck. A murder occurred in the northern suburbs. Lone perpetrator broke into a house and shooting the residents with a shotgun. And the victims were Remival Manager, ooh, from Remival. And the killer who was charged soon afterwards was a former Remival employee and suspected rebel. Let's get rid of that. Vindictive rebel kills family of four in their sleep. Oh, we could do. You know what? I think we need to do it. We're going to we're gonna make that the front page story. Front page story, Phil. You need to write that. I'm so sorry, rebels, but we're it's, it's fine. Unemployment risers, teaching materials in all state schools. I'm guessing that they're going to be bad. Uh, current materials outdated and correct will be replaced and the new material will be examined by government officials to ensure it is proper and relevant. Oh, I don't like the government, but the rebels are kind of murdering monsters too. <laughs> Unemployment's on the rise, apparently. Unemployment rises or unemployment has skyrocketed. Let's just say it's risen. More and more people left without jobs. Uh, new study shows currently around 37%. 37% unemployment rate. And 32% of the population don't support, can't support their families. Oh, 
Let's just quietly scratch that, but it's still a negative story. All right, and 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 you're writing it. All right, I'm sorry. Get on it. Now we're doing a nice, nice big vindictive rebel piece for you, and a nice big celebrity story, and an unemployment rises story. All right, you can't you can't complain about this. All right, let's just put a bit of spend news for those with finer taste. No, I don't think that's the right. Uh, don't think that's the right thing at all. Let's put a load. A load of yeah marketing spend into into the west and the north here. Beautiful. And then we could just put like a little. Actually, actually I don't want it to be bought in the east and the south this week because it's anti-rebel and I want those guys to stay rebelly. Uh, so let's just do this. Yeah, fine. It's celebrity and industrial. It's celebrity and crime. We are going to have oh we're the flipping daily star sensational scoops surrounding superstars. Ah, oh, I feel so dirty just publishing this newspaper. Week 11, just one week left until the public culture bill comes into force. But that should get the government on side. All right, where did we sell some papers? We sold we sold quite a few papers. Um, we didn't really make any change to anyone's opinions. The loyalist suspicion of me just went up for publishing a great... What the hell? The rebel, the opinion of the rebels has gone up. My, pop, my popularity is absolute. And I've got mail. I can't... Oh, that's from flipping Harold. Oh, Harold Finn's going to be really pissed off at this. Uh, as a matter of fact, the relationship Mr. Finn had with his eighth wife was not his longest. His longest relationship to last only two years would be quite embarrassing. His relationship with his third wife lasted an entirety of 28 months. Two years and four months. Lovely. Yeah, th thank you very much, Harold Finn. There. We've only got to make it one more week. It does feel like things are escalating here. Governments and formants have been killed in fires. Uh, police are arresting union chairman. This is all feel like it's all escalating. Union leader excuses protesters violence while blaming police. Uh, police arrest union chairman. No, let's just have it that. Let, okay, let's go back into modestly negative. So the union chairman has been arrested for suspected rebel ties. Uh, do we want that? Protest has become a hero of the working class. Protesters have been accused of disturbing the peace and promoting violence. Lynch claims the violence in question was self-defense against attacking police officers. If we scratch that, and then, yeah, he it's just about him being self-defense. Hero of the working class. Suspected rebel ties. Yeah, we are. The story is now just the police have arrested him. He's a hero of the working class. And uh, he was, you know, all the violence was self-defense. Um, who's going to write that? Julie's going to be in trouble if she writes that. Um, Julie... I'm sorry, but you have to do it. I'm so sorry if you get taken to the re-education camp, but it's only one week until the end of the game. I'm not sure what's going to happen. So, uh, oh no, what's going to? What is the new media bill going to do? What's he planning to do here? Discusses his upcoming plans for the press. In the plan, the chairman states that he wanted to introduce mandatory public information slots. These slots will be used by the government to spread important information. The chairman means that this will keep the public well informed at all times. We have to put that in the paper. It's too important not to. Fights for a well-informed press. Wants to force propaganda onto the press. Scratch that. <laughs> oh, we're in so much trouble. Let's just put that down there for now. Thing is, I just kind of want to survive into the next week. I just want to survive into the next week. And I don't want to get like, I don't want to lose now. Uh, there's a smuggling ring as well. Harboring multiple black market vendors. Market will be closed off for a month. Repair damage caused by the raid. And, uh, okay. Smuggling ring by the police. Police attack Southern Dock Market. Yeah, that seems reasonable. That's a good dramatic crime story. And according to the police, the market is suspected of harboring multiple black market vendors. Uh, market will be closed off for a month to repair damage caused by the raid. Let's just get rid of that and just make it a story about how the police have attacked the docks. And the docks are the only way that some people can survive. And they've been shut for a month. Perfect. And you're writing that. Get in it. All right, just do it. Get on it. Bloody hell. Uh, right, we need a nice... Nice, harmless thing. Uh, what have we got? Protest against the job crisis. Oh dear. Or attempted rebel riot in the southern docks blames unemployment. That's not fair. Yesterday evening, a series of protests in the southern docks. While criticising general government policy, the main focus was recent increase in unemployment. During the protests, some mass individuals were caught throwing rocks nearby police officers. Scratched. And protests ceasing after police division. Scratched. Right. Phil, you're writing this. All right. There we are. Now, what do we want to do? Yeah, the, the police attacking the uh, the docks. That's a good front page news. Uh, protests against the job crisis. Oh, yeah. 
and the police arrest in Germany. Oh, my paper makes it sound like we are in bloody crisis at the moment. That's beautiful. That's just lovely. And we're not going to sell many papers in the north, by the way. <laughs> we're really not. Right, let's let's put like a nice 40%, 45% in here, and some of that, and some of that. Ooh, and the Westport Independent encompass everything between the west and the east. That's cute. I like that poster. That's very cool. Yep, let's publish this and see what goes on next, because I'm worried about what the hell the government's going to do to me. I may have been a bit negative. Week 12. And the Culture Force bill is coming into force, probably today. Popularity, loads of soul papers were really popular. The rebels are... Ooh, it's too suspicious. We're way too suspicious. And, oh, political opinion has swung way to the rebels. We're ludicrously popular. 16th of May, 1949. The day of the public culture bill. In the northern suburbs, the Loyalist Party is hosting a small outdoor celebration for the introduction of the Public Culture Bill. A big banner with the words for propriety in media hangs over a small stage set up for the event. So far, the celebration has consisted of a small speech from the president followed by local children's choir singing the national anthem. Oh, that's adorable. Outside the celebrations, loyalist banners and flags fly high throughout the entire district. It's a symbol of a unified people with not a single disloyal citizen to be seen throughout the district. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened to my disloyal paper? I'm, I'm, I'm worried here. By the Western Districts, the public culture bill has gone by unnoticed. People have gone to work as usual, with no sound from the rebels all day. If anything, the district is showing its loyalist colours more boldly than usual, with multiple stores and restaurants displaying government propaganda in their windows. Okay, full fine. We knew the West weren't exactly going to come around here. Despite the lack of action from the rebels, the police are taking no chances and have increased security around the government buildings in the district. Fine, but we know that the real interesting stuff is going to happen in the East and the South. However, considering the overwhelming support the Loyalists have in the district, the reinforcements seem more like an open threat towards the few defiant than protection against enemy forces. At the Eastern factories, almost all industries have been shut down by rioters. Shattered windows, cut fences and vandalised goods can be seen all over the district. There are also reports of a truck blowing up in the outskirts of the district. Oh dear, looks like uh, the rebels are making their move here. The rioters themselves seem to be mostly workers of the district, armed with pipes, wrenches and hammers. Okay, so it's not rebels, it's, it feels like a genuine uprising. A trail of destruction lies in their wake, with messages written in coal and tar left on the dusty brick walls of the factories. From what we know, the police are on their way. What we do not know, however, is how they plan on stopping the rioters. Okay, so in the East Factory it's all gone a bit bad, but the South was where everything was really negative. So, oh dear, that's not looking good. Over by the Southern Tox, the rebellion has struck hard. Shouts of workers rise, bring the loyalist demise, echo through the streets. The sidewalks are filled with torn up government propaganda, shattered glass, and the occasional policeman, either dead or beaten within an inch of his life. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit nasty. One of their lifeless bodies hangs with, oh, that's not a mannequin, that's an actual police officer you've strung up? Bloody hell, guys. One of the lifeless bodies hangs from the top of the lamppost, with a sign sense of this dangling from his neck. The streets themselves are packed with protesters and rioters armed with pipes, bats and broken bottles. At the front, a couple of protesters have tied a sheet with a raised fist painted in red between two broken broomsticks. As they march on down the street, the spirit of rebellion continues to spread throughout the district. Okay, so... What happens as a consequence? While the city is as busy as ever, a small newspaper called the Westport... Uh-oh. Oh, what happened? Caused the Westport Independent... Soldiers on! Yay! We didn't get shut down! Woo! The paper has had its fair share of ups and downs lately, but no matter what hardship it faces, it just keeps on standing. Excellent! We and But we do have a little Workers Rise banner above us, which is interesting. Uh, one of many rumours circulating about the paper's missing employees. There are a few that keep recurring. Oh, poor Frank... Where is Frank? 
Where's Frank? One of them concerns a local man leading the riot to the local police station. Witnesses claim that they arrived early in the morning, rallying on the other side of a steel fence, all armed with placards and pipes. It was clear that a civil protest wasn't their intention, even before the officers tried to intervene. Nobody knows who threw the first Molotov, but everyone was witness to the chaos that unfolded. Frank! Have you been throwing Molotovs at the police? A few hours later it had died down, with many of the participants having fled or lying wounded or dead. The only thing remaining is the burning rubble and one line of graffiti lit up by the flames. Witnesses have reported seeing a mysterious woman carrying a Westport Independent Press badge at different spots across the city. She had been seen in the middle of the action, dodging blows while taking pictures with a camera. Oh, um, so that's presumably Julie, because Anne would never do that. Anne's not bold enough to do that, so it's got to be Julie. So Frank went mad and basically presumably got himself killed throwing Molotovs at the police. Julie's still trying to take pictures of everything. Some also claim that she was writing things down in a notepad while asking questions and aiding the wounded. Authorities have so far failed to apprehend her, but whether or not she's affiliated with any side of the conflict remains unclear. I asked the broad question, why the hell are you doing this, a witness stated. She just looked at me dumbfounded by the question and said, well, in case the world doesn't end tonight, someone's got to write this down. Oh, Julie, you star. Police are still searching for one of the paper's journalists, Phil, who has been reported missing from his home. According to statement from neighbours, he arrived earlier at the apartment he shares with his brother, seemingly frantic. Neighbours were growing suspicious after they heard a set of heavy thuds and sounds from the apartment and went to investigate. Witnesses claim that when they arrived, the apartment was trashed, furniture smashed to pieces, shattered glass everywhere and clothes scattered across the floor. Oh no! Oh no, the, the looters went after Phil, but he was at his injured brother's apartment and they... Oh no, that's a disaster. Signs of the struggle were evident. Neither the journalist nor his brother were anywhere to be found. If anyone has any information about their current whereabouts, please contact Westport Police. Oh, Phil. Okay, you were a bit of a government stooge, but you and especially your brother didn't deserve that. And over in the east, I guess this must be Anne, therefore, witnesses reported seeing a middle-aged woman match the description of one of the paper's employees. She, together with several civilians, have set up blockades adjacent to the fighting by stacking broken doors and furniture. Behind the blockade, they're offering shelter to people seeking refuge from violence shaking the streets. Though police have denounced these actions as rebel activity, the people behind the barricades seem to offer little in the way of conflict. Instead, they seem to focus on keeping it out. Well, okay, that could be Julie then. Maybe that is Julie, because Julie is more the sort to have a barricade, whereas Anne is probably the first woman in that case. She was just doing her reporting duties. Whether the woman is one of the paper's employees or not has yet to be confirmed. She's refused to answer questions from anyone wearing a press badge. I think as journalists have ruined things enough, a witness claims she stays when prompted. Oh, yeah. That's going to be Anne then. <laughs> That's going to be Anne. I think as journalists have ruined things enough, she's... She's really sick of what's happened. Okay, so we didn't bring down the government. We didn't bring down the government, but we managed to get our paper to survive. So I'm guessing you can bring down the government, but to do it, you would need to sway every area. Because it feels like, yeah, sure, there was rioting in the, um, in the south and the east, but there was still a heavy police presence in the west, and the north was very, very peaceful. So I'm guessing... If you were somehow able to cause enough trouble to get the West and the North on side, which I guess you'd need to do by very carefully picking your news stories. It's like have, if you want to get the North on side, you need to very carefully curate stories that were both celebrity and industrial in your paper and have a rebel skew on them in order to... Oh, and that's really interesting. And to keep the government off your back, you would have to do something like deliberately create a paper that's only going to be read in the South and the East once you've secured them as being firmly rebel and just write some government propaganda that's therefore not going to affect what's going on in the, in the kind of the North. Oh, that's really fascinating. This game's clearly got some replayability to it. Fascinating little game. Thoroughly recommended. Feels like a really fun little game. Could be some interesting playthroughs to try and get, like, the optimal, uh, the optimal ending there. And preferably, yeah, not get any of your, uh, journalists kidnapped at the same time. So, yes. 
fascinating game. Really, really solid. I enjoyed that an awful, awful lot. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing me kind of trying to do this again, but trying to uh, get myself the, the good ending, presumably, where actually you're able to completely destroy the government by getting every single area on side with the government. Great little game, this. Enjoyed it hugely. Thoroughly recommended. I'll put a link in the description below. Great fun. Let me know if you want to see more. Other than that, you may want to kind of have a play for it yourself, write your own news stories and see what you can do to either bring down the government or just support it thoroughly yourself because I get the feeling that uh, after that uh, bill passes, there might not be a Westport independent for much longer. So the only way to survive is to take down the government. But to take down the government, you're going to need to survive for 12 weeks while slagging them off. And I get the feeling that could be quite tricky. So great little game. Love this. Maybe more of it soon. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the really rather excellent Westport Independent. Thank you very much and goodbye. What the hell? All right. We've now got a Scottish zombie traveling with us. Oh, he's actually quite good now. And he's got over his drinking problem, which is... Oh, he eats human flesh. He's got some decent carrying capacity. Okay, fine, he eats people, but come on, let's not be flipping judgmental about this.